you want to divide your income, a thousand dollars, between pizzas and books. Let's assume you want to spend all your income on these two goods. We'll relax this assumption in future episodes. Let's show the quantity of pizzas you can buy on the horizontal axis and books on the vertical. For simplicity, we assume the price of different books you need is roughly the same, $50, and so is the price of different pizzas, $12.50. How many books can you buy if you spend all of your $1,000 on books and buy no pizzas? A thousand over the number of books. Likewise, you can buy a thousand over the number of pizzas if you spend all of your money on pizzas and buy zero books. What about the points in between? Books in this example are four times as expensive as pizzas. Then if you decide to buy one fewer book, you'll be able to buy four more pizzas. And this ratio is the same for the second and third book you cut back. For every fewer book you purchase, you can buy four more pizzas. Since the ratio is constant, what connects the two intercepts will be a straight line. This line shows all the combinations of books and pizzas you can buy if you spend all your income on books and pizzas. That is, the maximum number of books and pizzas you can afford. Your budget limit. It's called the budget line. Since in this example we deal with a fairly low number of commodities, it's more of a dotted line than a genuine continuous line. We'll see why it can be treated as a line in the next episode. 